You're watching Prophetic Drive Time. I'm Eli Lasky. Let's get into this word. So since yesterday, uh, the Lord's been on me about marriage, about marriage. Uh, there's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of uh, frustration. The marriage, the marriage covenant of marriage, the sanctity of marriage has been under attack. Even in this hour, in particularly, it's been it's been heavy, and it, it's caused a lot of a lot of a lot of men to walk out of the relationships. It's been causing uh, 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 the threat of walking out. It's been causing uh, uh, a lot of hopelessness between the woman and the man, and 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 um, um, and the, and. And it's, 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 it's something that is grieving to the heart of God. Glory to God. But I hear the Lord say clearly, restoration. Glory to God. You see, um, I want to share something with you. And then I'm going to pray. I'm going to share something with you. Then, I want, then I'm going to pray. You see, some of you have been struggling with, with the coming, with the becoming one. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of you have been struggling with the becoming one. And since you didn't, since there, since you didn't understand what was happening, you just may have assumed that you were in a bad marriage. Come on, I'm talking to you, young man. I'm talking to you, sir. I'm talking to you, sir. I'm talking to you, ma'am. I'm talking to you, brother. I'm talking to you, sister. You just thought that you were in a bad marriage, but you didn't understand that you were in the process of becoming one. You see, the Bible says, and the two shall become one. And see, what happens is you may look at and compare yourself, you compare your marriage and your state of happiness to someone else's glory to God, to someone else's current state, but you don't realize Realize what it took to get to that state. Uh, you see, there's all there oftentimes in marriage, oftentimes in marriage, there is a fight. There is a fight before submission. Uh, and, and see, and what happens is, and I, and I and I'll explain that by saying this. You see, in in, in everything of God, there there requires a yielding. Everything that God has ordained in this earth, everything that God has established, it requires a yielding from the rising and setting of the sun. The sun has to yield to those to those commandments of God. Everything, the bees, the birds, everything has to yield to the commandment of God. Everything has to yield the clouds and the rain and the water. It has to yield to the authority of God and, and, and obey the first commission of God. Glory to God. You see, but man is the is the 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 only entity in this earth uh, who has the authority or the the, the will the in, the innate will to choose do I yield or do I not I want the covenant of marriage I want the things of God I I know it's right I'm drawn to it but yet uh, uh, I, I I have people have not understood glory to God that their that the the issues that they have in their marriage it, it's 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 a natural process because of the uh, 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 because of the need to yield so all the only thing marriage will demand of you is that you yield glory to God because it's a godly covenant and for those who are stubborn and those who have who don't understand they think that something they think that something unnatural is happening to them and so then automatically they'll label their marriage bad and they say I can't do this when the only thing that's happening is is that your the marriage will, marriage presents you the opportunity to yield Glory to God. So, so you've missed. So the enemies come in and miss and, 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 and caused a lot of misunderstanding. You know, he's a subtle one. He'll take if, if whenever you don't understand a situation, he'll come in and he'll come in and bring false revelation of a situation to cause you to to cause you to back out of, walk away from, turn away from something that God has ordained to be wonderful for you. But everything that God has established in this earth for all of its creation created beings, all of its created things require them to yield. Glory to God. And so the becoming of one is a process of yielding. Now, if you look at somebody and you say, okay, look, they may have a good marriage now, right? And they're, they're this, they're this, they're, they're, they, they operate in a singularity of a one mind where, where they, they, they seem to operate as one. Glory to God. And you look at that and you say, and you compare yourself and say, I don't have that. Well, you know how they got there? through a process of yielding. 
glory to God. And, they, and, and, and some people go into marriage yielded, glory to God. But for those of us who don't, we go into marriage unyielded, then guess what? Then it becomes a difficult process and it becomes, and the marriage is unpleasant. Mm, and the marriage is unpleasant. Brother, I'm telling you, you're not supposed to walk away from your wife right now be, just because it's unpleasant. Hallelujah. What what the only thing you have you need to do is you need to pray to the Lord to create the atmosphere of yielding so that both of you guys could receive the bounty and the fruit and the blessings that have been associated and ordained for marriage. Glory to God. That you can realize the power of the covenant of marriage. Glory to God. That you could see change in the atmospheres and the lives within around you in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So, brother, what you need to do is pray woman what you need to do is pray and also God has given you this insight of yielding that's the problem the two are becoming one and it's a fight before revelation it's a it be, and it becomes a fight before revelation because with the Lord when you follow him you have to do what you have to lay down your life but the but the but the interesting thing about that is what the enemy tells you is oh he you oh he don't want you to lose your you oh he wants you to lose yourself and all these things God is so mean but he, but he doesn't tell you the life that you find. <laughs> you see, laying down your life for the Lord, he said, if you lay down your life for me, and he doesn't necessarily expound on the life that you will receive in return. So you've been fighting and the Lord is what wants me to tell you that it's okay. It's okay. You've been struggling and 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 what's what's expounded the struggle and the troubles of marriage is that you haven't understood that it's a process of becoming one, right? Because you're sorting through the ideology of, of two individuals, right? You're sorting through the ideology of two individuals to find the optimum way to govern a home, the optimum way to 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 move forward as one. Uh, I don't like that idea of yours, right? I don't like this idea of yours, right? Well, we should do it this way. We should do it this way. And and the thing about it is, is this: without yielding, if somebody without yielding, thank you, Holy Spirit. The yielding should always be in love, because when a person is submitting and, and yielding, when they don't, when they're not, when it's not connected to love then they feel like then then the enemy really comes in and then the resentment starts to form and and bitterness is i can't be here i can't be here because it's it's not it's not a complicit yielding it, it's it's a force yielding glory to god it's a it's a force yielding and so joy can't spring it's difficult for for joy to spring up from that amen and so God has a word for marriage today, and the word is restoration, but I had to share that with you so that you didn't think that what was happening to you was abnormal or, 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 or strange or or that uh, uh, for some, for some I hear somebody say, well, you know, I'm just married to the wrong person. We just don't get along. It's not that you don't get along, my brother, my sister. It's just that you're not yielded. Glory to God. You're not yielding. Let me, sit, let me, let me show you something. When, at, when the Lord created man and woman, when he created man and woman, he created them man and female, but he created them as one. You see, our spiritual, our, when we were our, in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in our spiritual construct, in the origins of our construct, we were created as one. Then he took man, then he took woman from the man, glory to God. Then he took woman from the man, right? And then brought her back to the man so that they could then become one. Now, what was the issue from them in the beginning? There were no issues. Right? They were yielded. They were yielded and they just went around enjoying the the, 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 the life and keeping the garden, you know, really just, uh, uh, you know, just, just kind of yielded to the commissions of God. Keep the garden, maintain the garden, be fruitful and multiply. They were just yielded to the, their original command. And then the enemy came in. Mm. And then the enemy came in and he came in and his goal was to get them to eat the fruit that would provide produce individuality mm, that would bring a glory in a, a, a false glory and a, and, and a false height a, 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 a heightened sense of individuality it's me and it's you instead of us you see that when God created it it was it was a it, it was one the oneness becomes about we but when you hear me 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 all the time you know that the enemy has done a work and so the process of becoming one is about the process of one becoming one is about losing the me and discovering the we, and that is yielding. What is best for us? 
what is best for us? What's best for us? And when that becomes your focus, then you get to draw from the sweet fruit of marriage, the sweet covenant of marriage, the 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 the, the real I, uh, I ideal that God had for marriage, and and the beauty of that covenant. Amen. So I'm gonna pray now. I wanted to give that spiritual insight because I believe it's gonna help somebody that understanding because some somebody's been dealing with some frustration and not understanding what's been going on in their marriage, right? And and thinking that what they were experiencing in their marriage was something foreign and and just not of God because there's so much you know it seems to be so much friction well there needs to be some yielding amen uh, some yielding that's the process of becoming one sometimes it's the fight before it, it, sometimes it's the fight before you realize the uh, 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 some conflict before in the process of realizing the oneness amen so let's pray let's pray father in the name of Jesus I thank you for the word restoration I thank you for the word restoration. I thank you, Father, for your for your heart, Lord, and for your love of the people, Lord, that you have brought into covenant, Father. The devil is a liar, Father. I know that marriages are under attack, Father, but I thank you, Father, for moving by the flames and fire of your Holy Spirit, Father, to come against the deception, Father, that has been sown in the heart of the man and woman, Father, of these unions, Father, to create separation. I come against the spirit of division in the name of Jesus. I come against that just Isabel spirit in the name of Jesus that is trying to lure men away that is trying to lure men away with the notion of being a side piece I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus father and I speak wholeness over these unions father I speak restoration over these unions father in the name of Jesus I speak a yielding in the name of Jesus that will produce the divine divine glory hallelujah for the man and the woman uh, that would that would I speak synchronicity in the name of Jesus I, I speak Speak, I speak glory, Father, over these covenants of marriage, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, that they may bring forth the fruit, Father, that is that is pleasing in your eyes, Father, and that they will give you praise for glory to God in the name of Jesus. I thank you now, Father, in Jesus' name, and I consider it done. God wants you to be restored. God wants your marriage to be restored. I know many of you have wrote in and talked about uh, your standing for your marriage. Well, God wants desires for your marriage to be restored. Hallelujah in the name of in the name of Jesus. So your word today is restoration, restoration for your marriage in the name of Jesus. Understand and take the wisdom that the Lord has given you within within this uh, within this uh, 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 within this video. Take the wisdom that the Lord has given you so that you can have understanding, so you can know also what is going on and where. The conflict why there, there why there's conflict glory to God why there's conflict right because once you understand then it'll give you peace and you won't overreact and think that something foreign is happening it's just a process of yielding glory to God oh, I pray this word blesses you I love you all God bless you all I'm praying for your marriages I know God desires for them to be uh, to be restored and God is going to restore marriages in this hour in the name of Jesus the enemy cannot have your marriage the enemy must take his hand off your marriage he will not succeed he will not win your home shall be your home shall be brought back together again you will be unified with your husband in the name of Jesus and and all the sediment and all of the debris that have come in through false information uh, it will be removed God will wash that away he's even washing some of it away right now with this word he will wash that away and bring wholeness, glory to God. I rebuke that spirit of resentment, glory and bitterness, that root of bitterness, I come against it in the name of Jesus and I speak peace, I speak peace, I speak peace in Jesus' name. God bless you all.